All right, good afternoon, everybody. Hack 1400 straight up. Uh, welcome to this afternoon's flag panel. I'm Vice Admiral Dave Buss, the Air Boss, and it's great to have you all with us this afternoon. I'll talk. Thanks, Mr. Decoy. Uh, Decoy Dunaway Nav Air Syscom. Your Syscom designs, develops, verifies, validates, sustains all your equipment. We're basically your, your target. Um, so we walk into this. try to bring it online. Decoy, over to you for the tail hook question. Yeah, so I purposely said design, develop, verify, validate, because this is not a draw it on a piece of paper, or put it together, and it always works program. This is hard. It's complicated. This is really tough stuff. Um, so F-35, wheel to hook distance causes a dynamic that is pretty difficult. Uh, when you add the hook point and the damper in there, what equates to a sine wave that stacks in the, in the uh, carrier arresting wire as the wheels go over it, ends up being down as the hook point goes by. Who'd have thought, right? Who'd have thought that when we were building it? So the question then becomes, do you have the capacity within your frame of design to get to it? And we believe we do. We've put our best folks on this, worked very closely with Lockheed, improved the damper, went from the rounded bulbous hook point to a flatter, more sharp hook point. All of the models seem to think that it's gonna work out and uh, we're, we're testing it here pretty darn soon. Uh, up at Lakehurst, we'll get our first crack at the wire with the arresting gun. That done, it'll probably be minor modifications, but now we have a range of, uh, of abilities to adjust the dampers to get there. So this is why we go through this process of design, develop, verify, validate. Um, and I don't think there's anything that I see personally right now in the F-35 that is, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know if we can do that. The question is how, how fast and how much? Uh, and that is a real question. Those are very valid questions of how fast we can get it done and how much. And as far as this airplane and the three variants, there's, there's one thing that this airplane, if it does what it's supposed to do, and I'm a trust but verify kind of person, if it does what it's supposed to do and creates the fused track that we all cherish, in, in other words, if we can identify everybody that's a hostile and everybody that's a friendly, given the sensor suite and the distributed aperture of the airplane, it'll be a win on all three services. If it doesn't do that, we're gonna have trouble. And that's where we gotta focus our energies from here through the rest of the program, is getting to that fuse track, which is the thing that'll make this airplane very popular in all three services. And I'd add one other thing on the, uh, the technical side, and Decoy, you may wanna comment on this as well. Probably less well known than some of the technical challenges and the hook challenges in particular with the F-35C, were a similar set of arresting challenges that we had with the X-47B recently and we worked through those pretty cleanly and successfully trapped that thing on board an aircraft carrier a few months after a redesign so we've got a process so the build test validate and then operate is a pretty darn good model that's worked for us yeah it made me scratch my head why my uh, my tail hook design department messed up the last two in a row that we've got through so we've wire brushed a lot of people look deeply into our processes <laughs> And uh, we, we found, uh, in that case, it was truly a decimal place misplaced. It was very easily missed and actually caused the design problem on um, X-47B that then we adjusted. My daughter's designed the next tail hook. 